10 ways you are causing your unhappiness. It's a little confusing to think that one can be responsible for their unhappiness, when in the real sense, all that we want is to live happily ever after, right? Of course, no one wants to be the cause of their unhappiness. However, certain habits might be responsible for it. Most of the time, we are unaware of these habits. So, the more that we do them, the more we cause ourselves to be unhappy. There are so many ways we cause unhappiness for ourselves, but until we discover them, we may never be able to stop it. Mayor Anderson, an American entrepreneur, investor and software engineer said, if you're unhappy, you should change what you're doing. The truth is that it is time to change. However, for that change to happen, we have to let go of the things that we are doing to cause this unhappy state of mind. In this video, I'll share with you 10 ways you are causing your unhappiness. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. You worry a lot. Worry creates inner turmoil. It is creating a reality that exists only in your head and it makes you wonder and bother so much about how to solve the problem you have created in your head. Sometimes, it is just us overanalyzing a situation and getting all worked up about it. The truth is that worrying never creates action. Instead, it freezes you so you are unable to think clearly and make changes to ensure the negative outcome never happens. Leo F. Buscaglia, an American author and motivational speaker, said, Worry never robs tomorrow of its sorrow. It only saps today of its joy. Also, according to Emmer Bombeck, an American humorist and author, Worry is like a rocking chair. It gives you something to do but never gets you anywhere. Worry is just a thief of joy. Stop worrying. 2. You compare yourself to others. How many times have you gone ahead to achieve something great just by comparing yourself to someone else? My guess is zero time. Have you heard about this? Saying someone is ugly doesn't make you any prettier. Comparing yourself to others, either most successful people or less successful people, doesn't change who you are and where you are. If anything, it either discourages you or makes you complacent, depending on the object of comparison. Everything in life is easier when you don't concern yourself with what everybody else is doing. Oscar Wilde, an Irish poet and playwright said, Be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. Dr. Prem Jagyasi, a speaker and trainer, said and I quote, Instead of indulging in social comparisons, start comparing what you are today with what you were yesterday and the day before. This way, you'll find positivity within and around you, which will inspire you to radiate it. 3. You try to please everyone. Edmund Mbakia, a self-help writer, said, always trying to please others is on a short path to stress and failures in life. Do you know what? Trying to please everyone is too much work. It is draining. It robs you of your happiness because you lose yourself trying to fit into other people's world. Dragos Batasanu, an award-winning scientist and author, said, You strive to please others to fit in and feel accepted. In spite of that, you still don't feel accepted, and not because others don't accept you, but because you haven't accepted yourself as you are. When you live your life trying to please people, it makes your self-esteem conditional, as you cannot feel good unless others are responding positively to your attempts to please them. It also prevents you from paying attention to your needs and caring for yourself. When you don't do this, you won't be happy, no matter how hard you try to make other people happy by pleasing them. Easy Victoria Odiasi said it's okay to consider the feelings and thoughts of people who matter to us, but we should also understand that we cannot please everyone at the same time. Do what's best for you. Do what gives you peace, a clear conscience, and makes you happy. 4. You are sedentary. According to a study in Science Direct Journal, there is a relationship between mental health 
and physical activity. A group of 6,909 adults were observed three times for 10 years. The results showed that when physical activities were increased, mental health improved over time, which in turn made the participants happy. So, if you do nothing but sit and eat all day, you might want to consider changing your routine. 5. You are lonely. Mother Teresa said, The most terrible poverty is loneliness and the feeling of being unloved. You see, we were made to be naturally sociable, and to do this, building and nurturing relationships is vital. Now, imagine if you stop doing that, and if you stop meeting people and building healthy relationships, how do you think it will make you feel? Happy? Of course not. Instead of trying to play tough, smile more and be genuinely interested in others. It will help you feel better and happy with yourself. 6. You are a perfectionist. Hannah Arendt said, To go on living, yes it is good to work towards making things perfect and excellent. However, it is also important to give yourself room to make mistakes sometimes. That way, you'll learn much more than you could ever imagine. Niraj Angaroti, a photographer and cinematographer, said, The desire for perfection often leads to the awakening of the procrast demon. Allowing yourself to make mistakes is the single most effective way to get rid of it. Don't be too hard on yourself by expecting you to be perfect for the world, expecting others to be perfect for you, or thinking that the world expects you to be perfect. No one does. So, give yourself a break. 7. You focus on the negative details of life a lot. There are two ways to look at life, the positive and the negative way. Oscar Wilde once said, we are all in the gutter, but some of us are looking at the stars. While optimists view things from the positive side, pessimists view them from the negative side, which is why they are never truly happy or motivated to achieve their goals. And when you are not living your life in pursuit of any goal or vision, you will be unhappy. So, even if you are in the worst of conditions or circumstances, choose to be an optimist by focusing on the positive details of life. 8. You hang out with unhappy people. Don Ruff said, Always work with and surround yourself with people who help make you a better version of yourself. Kindly avoid those who don't. When you are surrounded by negative and unhappy people, you'll also become unhappy because most of the activities you do and the things you say will be influenced by the negativity in them. When you are surrounded by negative and unhappy people, you'll also become unhappy because most of the activities you do and the things you say will be influenced by the negativity in them. Alex Ellie, an author and wellness consultant, said, Energy is contagious, positive and negative alike. I will forever be mindful of what and who I am allowing into my space. 9. You complain a lot. A quote by Mark and Angel Chernoff says, Happiness comes a lot easier when you stop complaining about your problems and you start being grateful for all the problems you don't have. Complaining never solves a problem. If anything, it makes both the complainer and the people listening unhappy. Complaining means stating a problem over and over without doing anything to solve it. The realization that a problem you complained about previously still exists can make a person unhappy. Instead, make efforts to solve the problem instead of whining about it. 10. You are unhealthy. Deepak Chopra said, The way you think, the way you behave, the way you eat can influence your life by 30 to 50 years. Your health has a direct effect on your state of mind. A quote by Buddha says, To keep the body in good health is a duty. Otherwise, we should not be able to keep our mind strong and clear. Also according to Marcus Valerius Martialis, life is not merely being alive, but being well. If you want to be happy, then you should pay attention to your health. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 
Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.